Hi guys, welcome back for another video. I'm Jess and I'm one of the creative designers here at Sizzix. Today I'm going to be making a napkin ring perfect for any celebration, any party table using the textile butterflies die from chapter two. So this is a Bigs die, which is perfect for cutting things like our shrink plastic, which is what I'm going to make that napkin ring out of today. But I'm also going to show you lots of other inspiration surrounding that die and loads of other celebration themed makes for any party that you've got coming up. Make sure to like and comment comment on this video and share across all of our social medias and yeah let's jump right in Okay, so the textile butterflies die that we're going to be using today is a big die. So this is what we call a steel rule die because it's much thicker than our thin let's die that we would be using for more intricate dies. These tend to be a little bit more basic shapes. And as you can see, we've got those two size butterflies on this die. So we've got the smaller one and the larger one. And then you also get the center body piece as well included. And big dies are great for cutting things like um, fabrics, thicker materials, like cardboard, anything like that, but it's also great for cutting shrink plastic. Now you can use thinlets to cut shrink plastic, but it tends to work better with more basic shapes, which is why bigs are perfect for using with these. And I tend to use bigger shapes because hence the name suggests it shrinks down. So once we apply heat, it shrinks in size. So we want to start off with a bigger shape or size. So if I've got a piece over here, so this is what our shrink plastic looks like. It is shiny on one side and matte on the other. There's no particular way that you need to use this. It's completely up to you. And I'm just going to cut it down to the size of my die. So I just want one size of the butterflies. I just want the larger butterfly because like I said, the shrink plastic does shrink down. So I'm just gonna cut a square or a rectangle. It's really easy to cut this stuff. And then I'm gonna place it over the bottom butterfly because I don't need that top one. And then you just wanna sandwich it in between two clear plates because we don't need that base platform because we're using that thicker die that any Sizzix machine will be able to take, which is great. So I'm gonna pop that through. And also a thing to notice with big size is you can layer up material. So you can cut multiple layers of material at once. So you can cut multiple layers of felt or fabric or cardstock. Um, I tend to usually do them about four at a time, but you can cut more, but just to get a really nice clean cut, I tend to max at about four layers per time. So we've got that all cut out. So here we have our butterfly. Now you potentially can't see it very well. I'm hoping you can. It is obviously from quite a transparent plastic and it's it is quite flimsy at the moment, but it is gonna get a little bit stiffer when we shrink it down. So like I said, we've got that matte side and we've got the shiny side. Before I apply any heat and I shrink it, on this matte side, I wanna add some color and I wanna decorate my butterfly. So to do that, I am just going to take some of our um, permanent markers. These are double-ended markers, so you have a fat end and a thin end, which is great. And they're permanent alcohol markers, so they're not gonna rub once they set. And I'm just gonna take the thin end, and I'm just gonna draw a really simple design on my butterfly. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. You don't wanna add too much detail because, um, it is gonna shrink in size, so you don't want anything super detailed that's gonna lose its focus once you apply that heat. So we've got some bits on the top, and let's just add some bits on the bottom as well. And you can add multiple colors, so you could add um, colors around the edge once you've done your main pattern in the middle. And this is really super easy to do, so even little ones, children could do this um, and have a lot of fun decorating their butterflies for whatever occasion you are making them for. Okay, so I think I'm quite happy with just that basic design. So I'm just going to use the purple, but I could use any color. I think there's 10 of them um, in that set. And then I've got the 
silicone mat underneath. This is the round one that comes with the shrink plastic accessories because I am going to use the other shrink plastic accessories, which is this mat, which is going to kind of keep it flat as it shrinks. So it means that it's, it doesn't shrivel up on itself. You'll see when I start to heat it. And then you also get um, this silicone tool, which I think in our design department, we kind of call it a stomper <laughs> because it, we're going to use it to flatten it out. Um, and then we're going to create a little bit of um, raised element just by pulling it together while it's slightly hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our heat tool just make sure I've got it all tight and you've got a dual speed on there so if you're using the lower speed obviously it's going to take a little bit longer but um, that's completely fine or you can use the higher speed and it's going to pre provide a little bit more heat so what I'm going to do is through that mat I'm going to apply the heat and what you'll see is the shrink plastic start to shrivel and then it'll flatten out by itself almost. So don't panic as it starts to heat up. Takes a little bit of time, but there we go. You can start to see it shriveling up and almost flattening out by itself and regaining its shape but smaller. So make sure it's nice and hot. And then I'm gonna take it off, give it a bit of a press. So it's all nice and flat. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop on the thimbles that come with the glue gun accessory kit. I'm just going to, so I protect my fingers. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more heat, just to, particularly to the center. Okay. And then take it in between my fingers with those thimbles on and just give it a bit of a press and then just let it set. So those wings just have a little bit of curve to them. Okay, so it's just, it's not completely flat and it does get relatively hot, which is why I tend to have the um, thimbles on my fingers when I can, when I remember, just because it does get slightly hot. Okay, so it's gonna stay in that shape now. And I can touch that, that's cooled down. And it's not gonna move out of that shape unless I apply excessive amounts of heat, okay? So that is the shrink plastic. It's a really cool material um, and you can have a lot of fun playing around. They're really good for like fashion accessories and stuff like that as well. But obviously we're making a napkin ring. So I've got my butterfly and then I need to think about what it's gonna sit on for the ring section. So what I've done is I've taken a strip of the shrink plastic and I just trimmed it down and then I've wrapped it with some uh, embroidery thread. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other options because this can be a bit more time consuming if you don't have as much time but this is a really nice way of adding a little bit more texture. So I've just wrapped it literally over and over again with some embroidery thread of my colour of choosing and then pushed it all down so it's nice and neat and it completely covers that shrink plastic. Then I'm just going to join that up. I'm just going to adhere it with some hot glue. And press that into place. And then what you can do is that little section that we haven't covered already that we've just applied the glue to, you can go over. So if I just glue this little bit in place so it doesn't move. Oh. Let's just place that on the inside and then we can cover that section. But I do tend to wrap it completely while it's not a full ring because it's a little less fiddly and less time consuming when you're doing it just in a strip. Um, Cause then you don't have to go through the middle hole kind of over and over again. But just take your time. It's actually quite therapeutic to just do these kind of things. I always found that when I was making things like pom-poms, you do that same kind of repetitive wrapping technique for pom-poms. So it kind of reminds me of that. Okay. Obviously you can make that much neater than I have. I've just done it quickly just for time's sake. Let's just trim that off and glue it down. 
Okay, so again with just some hot glue. And then push that down. If you're worried about the hot glue against your fingers, we've got those thimbles. Oh, there we go. We've got those thimbles off to the side that we could use as well. So you've got that ring that is perfect for your uh, napkin ring base. If you're worried about the size and you want to get the perfect circle, wrap it around something like if you've got an express glue or something like that, or even a toilet roll. Um, in a, anything like that would work. And then we're just gonna pop the butterfly just with some hot glue. Right in the center. And that's just gonna sit like that. Make sure it's nice and secure. And then I can pop my napkin in. So I think I've got one under here. And it should just slide on and look how pretty that is so simple perfect way to get the kids involved with designing their own little butterfly and a really fun cool technique particularly if you've never used shrink plastic before i think this is a really nice way of using it obviously if you didn't want to do the wrapped around with the um, embroidery thread there's loads of other options you could just use plain cardstock so we've got one there um, or you could use shrink plastic with some luster wax on that's actually something I wanted to show you you can see on the edges of these they've got just a little bit of luster wax I'm going to add some to my butterfly while I've got it here now I've got some gold luster wax but you could use silver or rose gold anything you want you just take a little bit on your finger and what you can do is you can just run your finger over the edge of your butterfly. So we'll just get a little bit more. And it sort of hides the edges because you will have a bit of an edge after you heat it. And it just really finishes it off. And it will, once it sets, it will not budge. So I should have really done this before I stuck it onto my uh, base ring but I did forget so I just wanted to show you that and it's really beautiful just adds a little bit of shine a little bit of sheen particularly to the ones that are plain and you could bring it slightly into the butterfly anything like that and then you can just do it on every edge and it really ties them together even if they're in the different colors and different patterns so they're just really really pretty and um, even with um, that simple design I'm just going to get a wipe to wipe off the luster wax luster wax comes off really easily by the way with just a simple alcohol wipe or hand sanitizer and you just soap um, and it smells amazing guys if you've never smelt it, it smells like oranges it's great <laughs> so those are the napkin rings but I also wanted to quickly show you that you could use that die for other things as well because it is a big die so it's a little bit more versatile so you can use it with cardstock so we've got some of the different size butterflies I've got some of the large ones and some of the small ones just added into a bouquet these are faux flowers but even if you had real flowers on your table you could just pop these in they're literally just cut from our muted cardstock and some gold opulent and then popped on a um wooden skewer and then slotted into my bouquet and um, I think I've even got one at the back I'm just going to grab there we go just to show the colors pop a little bit more so how amazing does that look in an all white bouquet and um, even with just some plain white flowers or even some foliage um, it just really pops with those colors or you could make the butterflies um, all white or all gold anything like that it's just really simple and you could even decorate those again with those pens if you really wanted to so those are a really nice addition to your celebration table and then one more thing that I wanted to show you is a placemat because you can cut fabric with these big stars so I've just used our um, pastel felt so I've used a mixture of colors in our pastel felt and then what I did is I ironed on our iron on adhesive onto the back and then just placed them on so it's literally just iron on adhesive felt and then placed onto my fabric placemat which would also work for a table runner so I've got these butterflies which are the textile butterflies and then I've also got the botanical flourish which is also a big sty um, just to add a little bit more finesse so if I just popped like a plate on there so you can imagine so I've got my placemat I'll put my cutlery out then if I've got my napkin ring with my napkin over the top 
And then let's pull in our bouquet. So there we go. You can see how quickly your whole theme um, on your party table would come together, whether it's for a birthday, for a baby shower, um, anything like that. You can take these different techniques and use them um, to completely decorate and personalize your celebration table. So there we go, guys. I think that's everything from me. I really hope you enjoyed following along and getting some tips and inspiration. Whether you just take one of the elements like the napkin ring or you're really interested in adding some butterflies to your um, bouquets this spring, summer. Um, if you do recreate anything or you're celebrating and you make anything for your parties coming up, I'd love to see it. So definitely leave me a picture down below and a comment and share it across all of our socials. We'd love to see it here at Sizzix. We'd love to see what you guys are up to and what you're celebrating writing and what you're making so yeah thanks for joining me today guys oh i forgot to mention if you do get anything um that i've mentioned within this video make sure to head on over to the Sizzix website and use the code jess20 that's j-e-s-s-20 and that'll give you some money off of anything that i've used today that you like and you want to get your hands on okay thank you so much for joining me today guys i really hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one but until then stay safe and keep crafting thanks bye